The Washington Commanders are due for a rebuild. One of the worst teams in the NFL last year. You know it's bad when even Madden has your status as rebuilding. But there is a lot to look forward to. Jaden Daniels, we have five hidden dev players. I expect this to be one of the hardest rebuilds possible in Madden 25. My goal is to win a Super Bowl as quick as possible. Dan Quinn, I love you, but I'm gonna be head coach. For my offensive playbook, I'm gonna try Atlanta Falcons. I know this gives a ton of good reps to your running back, so that's gonna be a priority moving forward. Defensively, I'm running Pittsburgh Steelers. If there's one thing the Steelers do correctly, it's defense, so we're gonna trust in that. Yo, I can rock the puffer jacket this year. You know I'm rocking that thing. It's Washington, bro. Oh my God, I can be a black chick. Are you kidding me? Woo! Can I say it? Can I? Imagine you fumble the ball in the Super Bowl and your seven foot black chick head coach comes in and rooms you out. You're never fumbling again. Maddie Meeks. Come on! Oh, Madden 25 is already so much better. Are you kidding me, dude? Oh my God, it's a dream come true. Let's go, baby! This could be the best rebuild ever. All right, let's determine some focal points on this roster that we need to target. Number one for me is honestly running back. Austin Eckler is a superstar in this game, which is really nice, but he's 29 years old. He's not getting any better. Probably by even next season, he'll be a 75 and star dev. And on top of that, we're not winning anything this year. So I got to target a running back either in free agency, a trade or the draft. Now I do like Brian Robinson. There's a world where I just start Brian Robinson and go from there, but I wanna have two good backs anyway. We'll see how this season goes. Eckler should still be the starter though. Scary Terry McLaurin, awesome wide receiver. He's also not getting any better. 28 is the sweet spot in Madden where you kind of turn over to start regressing, but we should still have three or four really good years out of Terry McLaurin. Jaden Daniels is the cornerstone of this rebuild. The rookie out of LSU, 23 years old, I don't know if he's star or superstar dev. I don't want to cheat it and look. So we're just going to find out. But he's a 74 overall. I mean, if I was trying to draft a quarterback, I would hope they look exactly like this. He's fast with decent throwing stats. I don't know if Scrambler is the best archetype, but I'm excited to see how it works. I could even switch over to like a Baltimore Ravens playbook since he's so fast. Kansas State rookie tight end, Ben Sinnott. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make him a starter out the gates. 83 speed, hidden dev, 71 overall. The current starter is now journeyman Zach Ertz. He's marginally better, but he's old. I'll make sure that Ben Sinnott is a starter. Offensive line is not that good. Sam Cosme is really good. I'll start Coleman today since he's the same overall. Stromberg is, ugh. yeah. We'll definitely need to look into grabbing a new guard. Stromberg, although he's young and a star, he will develop. I think I'm getting ahead of myself. This offensive line could definitely be worse. We also have Jahan Dotson. I love Jahan Dotson. We have Jamison Crowder as well. For right now, we don't got to worry about wide receivers. Offensively, we're really not in the worst spot. It's defensively that we've got some things to worry about. Washington has always had amazing D tackles. They still do here. But we lost Montez Sweat and Chase Young last year. So now it's Clellan Farrell and Dorrance Armstrong. I'm worried about that. I'm glad we have Emmanuel Forbes. He'll develop well. Benjamin St. Juice, this dude was a demon budget player last year because he's fast and he's six foot three. I'll keep my eyes on corners, but we've got another rookie, Mike Sanristil out of Michigan. He looks okay. He could develop well. Derek Forrest, Jeremy Chin, Frankie Louvu, Jamin Davis, Bobby Wagner. Wagner's got maybe a year left. Maybe. He may be good for this year, but we'll have to lock down a middle linebacker as well. I honestly think a really good guy to trade would be Jonathan Allen. We've already wiped out so much of this D-line. Jonathan Allen is a superstar X-Factor, 89 overall D-tackle. He still holds a lot of value. Not only that, but we have a 75 overall rookie, Jerzon Newton out of Illinois. If I traded Jonathan Allen, acquired some capital, and just started him instead he'll progress faster i think the very first thing i'm gonna do i'm trading jonathan Allen. this is our second best player but because he's x factor he'll hold a lot of value we need a team that needs a d tackle likely a contender the dolphins may give me both their first round picks as well as their rookie jalen wright take a look at jalen wright 21 year old rookie running back 93 speed 93 excel he could be a monster they've already got devon achan i just have to sweeten this deal a little bit it's an aggressive start to a rebuild but the trade is through jonathan allen and this year's fourth sixth and seventh in exchange for jalen wright and two first round picks from the dolphins they're a contending team so they're taking Jonathan Allen right now, trying to win right now. And we're looking ahead to the future. That's a great way to start here. 
and I want to see if I can get Jalen Wright involved in this first year. We now have arguably too much depth at the running back position. I think we've got to extract some value out of Eckler while we can. Honestly, I don't think the Commanders ever should have got him in the first place. He had a pretty unspectacular year with the Chargers. If we can get a mediocre draft pick out of this, I'd be happy. But the market for halfbacks is not great. Most teams have a really solid running back. The Bengals gave us a third, fourth, and fifth in this year's draft for Austin Eckler. So, halfback room's a lot different now. We've got a lot more picks, but a lot less talent. My season goal this year is to get four wins. I'll commit to that. Group. We would do exactly what we did last year if we did that. Gentlemen, welcome to France. As soon as I get back to the States, I'm going to the first football game that I can, and I'll definitely be getting my tickets off the SeatGeek app. SeatGeek is the best place to buy tickets for anything. They take tickets from all around the web and put them in one simple location, that's the SeatGeek app to make buying easy. The best feature on SeatGeek is their ticket rating scale. Look for the green dots in your venue. Those are really well-priced tickets. The red dots are not so great. Stay away from those. So whether you're going to a sports event, a festival, really anything that takes a ticket, you should have the SeatGeek app on your phone. Promo code MMG will also get you $20 off your first order. So keep in mind, your first purchase on SeatGeek, promo code MMG, that's $20 off. There's a link in the top description to download. Enjoy the rest of the video. Here's what this upcoming draft class has. A left tackle, wide receiver, right end, outside linebacker, and left end. Honestly, right or left end would be great, great picks for us. Depending on how poorly we play this year, we could land one of these guys. There's four corners after that, and then a quarterback. Left end, middle linebacker, right end. All of these are great for us. We just gotta make sure that we scout appropriately and find the right guys. Set a few of these guys as favorites. And let's keep moving. So headed into the season, Brian Robinson is the starter. Jalen Wright is the backup. Oh my God, I forgot we have Luke McCaffrey. <laughs> I completely forgot we have Luke McCaffrey. I'm gonna move Luke McCaffrey to our slot wide receiver so that he's getting reps of some variety. And I'll also move him to wide receiver three. I'm gonna move past Jamison Crowder. Crowder's in his ninth year in the league. I completely forgot about Luke McCaffrey. So McCaffrey doesn't even get hidden dev. He is straight up normal dev. And yes, this is Christian McCaffrey's brother. <laughs> All right, our season opener is against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Let's see how Jaden Daniels looks in his debut. Tampa Bay strikes first. I'll try my best to play very few reps in general, but I wanna see how this team feels on this opening drive. There's Jaden Daniels, Luke McCaffrey's out there, Brian Robinson in the backfield. How are we looking, boys? Ooh, scramble is not there, or maybe it is. Ugly first rep for me, but we can come in here on defense. We've still got Bobby Wagner. Hey, if, he, if Bobby Wagner wants to play till he's 40, I mean, I'm not going to stop him. I just don't see it happening. Tampa Bay on third and 10. Two-minute warning. All right, third and 10, big stop here. I've got the dig. Baker's going to take off, but there's no way he's getting there. Great stop, huge hit. All right, it's 10 to 10 in the third quarter. Let's see what Jane Daniels and the boys can do. This looks like a run to me. It's not. Oh, beautiful. Damn, he got rocked. It's like Zach Ertz is getting reps regardless of what I had to say. I want Ben Sinat, bro. First and 10. Jaden Daniels, flushed out, delivers. <gasps> There's, dude, that was a pitiful catch attempt. And it was Zach Ertz, too. <laughs> Second and 10, Jaden Daniels. Another drop. Come on, boys. Now third and 10 in the red zone. We can always take the field goal to slip screen. And it's going nowhere. That was a three and out. Gentlemen, wait a minute, gentlemen. We have a six point lead with 10 seconds. Tampa Bay's out of timeouts. Are we gonna win the first game of the season? Eight seconds, no timeouts. They gotta go. I mean, this is Hail Mary. It's gotta be. Baker, you gotta unload it. He does. Defense. Yes. Best ball game. Let's go. All right, the commanders. In our first game of the season. 19 to 13 against the Bucks. Jaden Daniels got a win under his belt already. Let's go. Jaden Daniels threw an interception, no touchdowns. Looks like it must've been all on the ground. Just kidding. We have no rushing touchdowns either. How did we score two defensive touchdowns? Well, Emmanuel Forbes had a pick six. Where's our other touchdown? Or was it four field goals and a touchdown? Oh my God, it was four field goals and a touchdown, wasn't it? 
Looks like we continued the trend at mid-season. We're sitting at four and three. We have a winning record. We already hit our season goal. We are sixth in the league in rushing yards. I'm telling you, Atlanta Falcons playbook will hand that ball off. But the NFC East is strong. Philly's five and one, Dallas is four and two, and Carolina leads the NFC South at five and two. Here's the league leaders in yards. I don't think we're on this list. We're not ready to be on any of these lists yet. I'll be honest. And we end our very first season with a record of seven and 10. We did have a really easy schedule, but that's a lot better than I expected, especially because we came out with two first round draft picks and a third, fourth, and fifth from the Bengals. We're third in the NFC East. It is going to be tough to fight through Dallas and Philly twice a year every year, but that's just part of the game, baby. Game Daniels with 3,286 passing yards, 17 touchdowns, 15 interceptions. Yikes. That's not a good stat line. Brian Robinson had 1,211. Damn. He had only one fumble. That's a really good season for him. Jalen Wright ended up getting a few touches, but not a lot. He did punch in three touchdowns, but that's okay. He can be benched for this year. Receiving, it was McLaurin, Dotson, and Luke McCaffrey. Pretty well spread, although Dotson never found the end zone. And Ben Sanat, 610 and three. I want to continue to get him involved and upgrading. I love having a good tight end. Defensively, Bobby Wagner was really important, so we are going to need to replace him in the future. Ended up getting seven sacks out of Frankie Louvu. Four and a half out of Jerome Payne and four interceptions for Emmanuel Forbes. He's going to continue to progress really well. That's exciting. Looks like Dak won MVP. Oh my God, it's going to be this all over again. Dude always wins MVP. Stop it. Mahomes came in second. Offensive player of the year in the AFC was Joe Mixon. In the NFC, it's Dak Prescott. Shut up. The Super Bowl was Packers Dolphins. That actually sucks because I have the Dolphins draft picks. So they did really, really well. I mean, it makes sense. They were supposed to, but the Packers won it. So at least I don't feel bad that Jonathan Allen might have gone and won a Super Bowl when I traded. All right, it's time to see what free agency looks like. Javon Holland is significantly interested. Damn, so is Jeremiah Wusu Koromoa. He would be huge. This is actually good too, because I'm running a 4-3 defense and he's pass coverage. Javon Holland, I'm not sure that I need him. Although it's an exciting guy to potentially sign. Matthew Judon, bit old, could pick up Patrick Ricard. Look, dude, I'm doing it. All right, first thing I'm picking up Patrick Ricard. I'll give him a mediocre offer. He's super interested. Awusu Koromoa would be massive. Dude, he wants to sign a six-year deal. I'll make it player-friendly. We have a good amount of cap space. Let's try and land him. I'll see if we can sway Isaiah Simmons. Yeah, Bobby Wagner dropped five overalls. If we can sway Isaiah Simmons, I'd be pretty excited. I have to give him a really nice offer, but we'll see. So in free agency, we pick up Owusu Karamoa, Patrick Ricard, and Isaiah Simmons. That's a good free agency. So our pick is round one, pick 13. The Dolphins pick is round one, pick 31. So that is late. It's time to start the NFL draft. We just got to do the best that we can. So they actually have really cool presentation now for the NFL draft. That's our pick right there at 13. Let's get up to our pick. Now, there were two guys that I was looking at, but one of them is already gone. That was Matt Whitlock. He was an edge rusher. But my backup option was this guy right here, Leonard Webster out of Clemson. He's a speed rusher with A block shed, A finesse moves. He's got elite change of direction, great speed, and great acceleration. He's probably going to be a good overall. I just got to hope that he's hidden dev. That's what's going to make this a really good pick. Oh, wait, I, I get to see him. I get to see Leonard Webster walk down. Come on, baby. Ooh. Looking nice, Leonard. The black turtleneck with the navy overcoat. I don't know if I'd do it myself, but whatever. Ooh, they give true value on this now? I don't like that. It's a good pick of B minus. Effective at shedding blocks, speed moves will stress offensive linemen. Will strength translate to NFL? Hit dev. Oh, oh, you got to click over to see it now. He is hidden though. 84 speed, 86 excel. That is a fast edge rusher. Clean. His strength is 83. That's not that bad at all. All right, now this is our Miami Dolphins pick. This is what we're turning Jonathan Allen into. There's honestly nothing here that I would take. Quarterback, quarterback, center, outside linebacker, free set. I can't do this. I got to trade this pick away. Dude, the Patriots would give me virtually all of their picks next year that aren't their first rounders. Second, third, fourth, seventh, seventh. I'm taking that. Damn. And the Patriots presumably aren't going to play that well, so those could be nice picks. I normally wouldn't take a wide receiver here, but this dude actually looks pretty good. Elite strength, great jumping, and changing direction. Speed doesn't matter too much in Sim. He's 6'4". If you're hitting Dev, this could be a really nice pick. We're going to go Larry Richards here. He's a B plus. Okay. He's normal Dev. Tough. I probably should have traded that one away too. This is our second pick from the Dolphins. I'm looking at Dom Still. He looks okay. 
but I need corners. Maybe you're hitting Dev. Let's find out. He's 23 in true value. I drafted him at 77, and that's only a good pick. Hello? And he's hidden Dev? This was a monster pick. Whatever. I don't care what they think. 92 speed, 91 excel, hidden Dev corner. Thank you, Miami. And I will try and pick up an offensive lineman here. Morgan Dodson out of Oklahoma. B minus. Normal Dev, 91 strength. We'll have him just in case. And I'm gonna sim the rest of this draft. We got a hidden dev corner. We got a hidden dev edge rusher. This was a really good draft. All right, the most important moment, the draft recap. View contract details, please, please, please. Where's the overalls? Oh, shit, what? Oh my God, wait, whoa. Okay, either draft class strengths are a lot stronger than in the past, or this was like a historically good draft. So Leonard Webster's a 74, Richards is a 72, Still is a 76. That was an insane pickup on Dom Still. Dodson's a 73. The CPU got me a 74 guard and a 72 center. Damn. Let's just look at the whole NFL. Sort by overall. Oh my God. Glenn Reddick, 85 overall halfback. Goes to the Bengals. I guess they didn't want Austin Eckler. All right, the year two lineup. This will be the first start for Jalen Wright. McLaurin has lost his superstar status, sadly. But Jaden Daniels is up to a 79 overall. We got Ricard in now. And there's Quinton Rose, now a starter. Defensively, Isaiah Simmons, MLB1, Awusu Karamoa, and Frankie Luvu, Derek Forrest, Jeremy Chin. I think I should probably start Martin. He's younger and star dev. Corners are progressing nicely. Dom still, I kind of want him getting reps early. I'm actually going to move him up in the depth chart. And then Armstrong, Payne, Newton, and Webster. Overall wise, we haven't moved that much, but we're in such a good rebuilding spot. So many of these players are going to get so much better in the next two years. Let's kick it off. Deja vu, gentlemen. We're four and three at midseason again. We're hosting the Chiefs. I definitely want to see how this game plays out. Let's take a look. Look at Jaden Daniels. Jaden, Dan, it's a night game too. Come on. Defense needs a little help early. Yeah, I, uh, I can't blame them. This is the Chiefs we're talking about. There's a lot of stars out there. God, I don't like that. Second to four, here comes Kelsey. I'm on him though. Oh, damn. Ooh, big hit, Jeremy Chin. Rishi Rice is fast. He's flying. Sorry, my bad. First thing, little. Oh, that's a sketchy pass, but it's caught. Hold the line, gentlemen. Hold the line. Second and goal. Up the middle. Jeremy Chin. Pacheco runs angry. Nice touchdown. KC scores a lot. It's 28 to 14, but the boys look like they might. Hey, is that Ben Sinnott? Is it Ben Sinnott? God damn it, Zach Ertz. Dude, this dude is my backup tight end and he's just getting so many quality reps. Right next to him is Ben Sinnott. Either of them could have caught. Okay, whatever. Whatever, dude. Whatever. It's a solid performance from the commanders. Though. Dude, we put up one hell of a fight. Hey, this was a great game. It was a night game. It was a primetime game. They picked the right one. But damn, the Chiefs were just a little too much. We're putting up really good points, though, with a very untalented roster in comparison to the Chiefs. I'm proud of how we played there. 43 to 36. Jaden Daniels, 34 for 39 and five touchdowns. Oh my goodness. We barely handed the ball off though. We were very unaffected when we did five for 14 and a fumble. Jalen Wright, hello. McCaffrey had nine for 112 and two. That's exciting. Do I smell a winning record? The Washington Commanders are nine and eight. Oh my God, we have a playoff game. We're taking on the Cowboys. Okay, so here's how we end this season. We had really good rush defense, not so great pass defense. It's honestly a miracle that we are in the playoffs with these statistics. I mean, take a look at the Cowboys. They're in top 10 in virtually everything other than rushing yards. That was, a, that was a really interesting season. I made no changes to our playbooks. Let's take a look. Jaden Daniels, like, look at that. 27 and 12 with the same playbook. He is up much higher overall now though, so that's good. Rushing, Jalen Wright hit 1,009 touchdowns. Brian Robinson still punched in eight. Hey, it's good to have two backs. Ben Sinat had eight, 26 and eight. McLaurin had eight, McCaffrey had seven. We're spreading the ball out very well. Defensively is where I'm interested. Kara Moa did just about everything. TFL, sacks, interceptions. That was a very good free agent signing. We had seven and a half out of Luvu. He's been getting to the quarterback a lot. Leonard Webster, ooh, that's really good. Leonard Webster, six and a half sacks for our rookie. Don't know if it's defensive rookie of the year, but that remains to be seen. If we finesse our way through this wild card, did we? No, we 
loss. Took an L 34 to 23 against the Cowboys. They're moving on. Is it gonna be Cowboys Chiefs Super Bowl? It always is, bro. It always is. Oh my God. Am I fucking, am I a, am I a mystic or what? Am I a, am I a psychic or what? Kansas City Chiefs versus the Dallas Cowboys for the Super Bowl. Look what I'm busting down though. Tell me that look good. Dude, I know some of you are high and you're watching this on your TV right now and you're just like, you're literally opening Uber Eats, aren't you? You're opening DoorDash, code MMG50. Ooh. Talk to me. Could just bust. 2025 season recap, the Kansas City Chiefs win the Super Bowl. Olave wins Offensive Player of the Year. And no Offensive Rookie of the Year for us, but it was a dude, nine and eight on this season is very impressive. I'm excited about that. Oh my God. Almost 70 mil in cap. And look at how good this free agency class is. Aiden Hutchinson is a free agent and he's interested. He wants a giga deal, but this could push us over the edge. What a massive signing this would be. We got to send a house at Aiden Hutchinson. Let's go a very player friendly deal. I'm making this offer. We've got the space for it. Oh my goodness. We're definitely the top offer right now. I might have over offered. Oh my goodness. Mike Evans is in free agency. Looks like we're losing Brian Robinson to free agency, but that was intentional. I was okay not having him. It's so easy to pick up backs. Let's get a cheap replacement backup running back. AJ Dillon's a perfect option. He wants four mil a year. He's interested. He's a 79 overall. I'll give him a neutral offer and that should be enough. Hutchinson signs. This is the biggest free agent signing right here. Oh my God, a 91 overall edge rusher. He's got so many more good years too. This is huge for the commanders. It feels weird because I'm a Lions fan. It feels weird taking Hutch to the commanders, but you gotta do what you gotta do. I'm here to win a Super Bowl, okay? As the first ever black female head coach, I'm looking for a little diversity, equity, and inclusion if you know what I'm saying. Our first pick in this draft is round one, pick 17. And honestly, I wouldn't hate a really good wide receiver. Scary Terry is regressing. McCaffrey is progressing, but Keenan Rowland does not look that good. He looks okay and his physicals don't stand out. Boogie Massey looks a lot better. A lot of greats, elite agility. He's 5'11 out of Texas. I'm gonna go with Boogie Massey. We're taking a wide receiver here. Is this our guy? I wanna see what he's wearing. It'll tell me if he's good or not. You ever seen a white, an all white tie before? That's madness. That's absolute madness, bro. That means he's a dog. Ooh, excellent pick. 14 of true value, draft him at 17. You gotta be hidden dev. That's a huge pickup. 93 speed, 92 excel, hidden dev, boogie massy. Cause the Patriots also gave us a ton of picks. We virtually have a back to back on this one. I would like a safety, but you know, offensive lineman's a good call. I'm gonna take a little more O-line here, especially in the first round. This is the best spot to find this talent. Calvin Boston says a good pick, but he's hidden dev. Beautiful. Got a hidden dev offensive lineman. I think a safety pickup's not a bad idea. If there is one, there's definitely not here. Joshua Dickerson, free safety. He's five foot nine though. Are you hidden dev? Oh my goodness, let's go. Another hidden dev. This is a very small safety though. This is our own little honey badger right here. Draft recap. This is one of the best wide receivers I've ever drafted. Boogie Massey's a 79 overall. Boston's a 73, Hookland a 72, Dickerson's a 73, and the CPU got me Brian Borum a 76 strong safety. He's normal dev, which is kind of weird for that high of an overall, but Boogie Massey's gonna be a freak. I'm really excited to see this dude go off. He's already technically an 80. Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited for him. This lineup's getting scary. Ben Sinat went up to a superstar. Offensive line looks really solid. I'm hoping for a big season out of Jalen Wright. Would love to get him up to superstar. Same for Jaden Daniels, but 83-82 is good. Boogie Massey was definitely the right pickup because McLaurin continues to get worse and worse. McCaffrey's a 78, Massey's an 80, and Dotson's an 82. So we do have good wide receivers. And defensively, I mean, the huge addition of Aiden Hutchinson, that's gonna be massive for us. Webster, star dev at a 79. D-tackles look good. Derek Force, Manuel Forbes. Dom still was superstar. Oh, shit. Dom still was a superstar. Oh, that's huge. That's massive. Well, we got superstars on offense and defense again. We did not have that last year. 2026, let's have a good season. Yikes. Well, we've certainly got the overall up, but at mid-season of year three, commanders are two and four. This is the worst record we've seen. Yikes. I'll swim up to the playoffs. Hopefully we can stop the bleeding. Late season surge. We were two and four at midseason. We end the season nine and eight. Is that a playoff game again? It is. Now we're at 87 overall. Well, we did win so many games in a row. I'm going to step in and play this one. Let's see if we can get our first playoff win. 
I won't play the whole thing, but I want to get some reps in. Honestly, this NFC East gauntlet is kind of killing me, dude. The Cowboys and the Eagles are tough teams to get through, and we got to see them twice a year, every year. All right, opening drive. They've got us at third and six. They want me in here to do something. We got a star tight end in Ben Sinnott. We got Luke McCaffrey out there. Oh, can I feed Sinnott? No, the pocket collapses. That was good defense. We're going to have to take a field goal there. Well, we get three, and now on defense, it's third and 20. This should be easy, boys. Just don't mess it up. Keep things simple. We'll be all right. Hoping for some good pass rush here. Jalen Hurts is flushed out. He'll take the check down. So long as we make a good tackle, we're going to force a field goal. Great work. Philly responds with a touchdown. Now it's a two-minute drill. And I don't know who Grissom is, but he's in for some reason. I'm going yard to Massey. That's a little risky. It's a lot risky. We don't got to get everything all at once. Second and 10. I see the boy Jalen Wright open on the side. We'll take four yards. Dude, this dude Grissom is getting a lot of reps. Ooh, busted coverage. The safety on the far side of the field was manned up on Sinnott right there. That's going to give us some really good yards. A big third and six. Hey, Scary Terry, you're a commander's legend, bro. I got to give you... Oh, what a dot! Jaden Daniels! And it's caught! McLaurin! That was gorgeous. Dude, who is Grissom and why are you in? You're pissing me off, buddy. Ooh, you're just going to leave him after what he did to you? 10 to 10, beautiful touchdown. All right, I played my part. It's time to let the boys close this out. We're down by seven to Philly, looking for our first playoff win. It's first and goal. I was thinking that go to, where's it going? Jaden Daniels. Now it's second and goal. Jaden Daniels, clean pocket, steps up. He's got a lot of speed. Jaden Daniels does it himself. That'll be 17 to 17. Philly responds with a quick touchdown. Commander's looking to tie it up under two minutes, approaching the red zone. There's Ben Sinnott. I'm so glad we started him. That was a really good call. Another pass, Jaden Daniels. Caught. McLaurin is so good right now. Looking like a run set on first and goal. Maybe chew the clock, score with no time left. No, it's a pass. It's a scary one but it is gonna get five yards. Now second and goal, a minute 20. Laser, oh, Jesus. Boogie Massey is number 83, stop it, bro. You got picked something else, dude, I don't like that. Hey, a touchdown's a touchdown. Boogie Massey, the youngster, dude. Make this game 24 to 24. This is a good playoff game. Yeah, look at Maddie Meigs. Clap him up, smack his ass, Maddie. Get a sexual harassment, yeah. Do you smack your coach on the ass if she's a black female? Tell me what. Tell me what. Eagles go three and out. We still have two timeouts and 53 seconds. We could win the game right here. Come on, commanders. Fake fair catch, let it roll through. Can we pull this off? Can we pull this off? He had him. He had him. Well, we know Riley Patterson is clutch. Second and 10. Ooh, pocket collapsing, gets the ball off. Caught. Damn. First and 10, one timeout left. Jane Daniels, sideline. Oh my God, we're catching everything known to man. That was Massey again. We're almost in field goal range. We don't need much. Oh my God, we're gonna hand it off. That's actually so sketchy, but no way. Get out of bounds. I guess it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. We're gonna spike it and kick a field goal. Oh my God, clock winding down. Riley Patterson, I know you're clutch. Two, one, ball game. The wild card playoff goes to the Washington Commanders. Oh my God, what a win, boys. That was electric. That was electric, let's go. The divisional playoff is against the Green Bay Packers. This would be a Cinderella story. This team is not ready for a Super Bowl, but I, if they made it, I ain't gonna stop them. I wish I had good news, I really do. But all we were able to get up was three field goals. 20 to nine, now we're just stat padding here. But hey, it's to Boogie Massey, so makes me happy. The Packers, really it was the Packers defense was too much for the Washington Commanders here. You don't, you don't score any touchdowns, you probably don't win the divisional playoff. I'm sorry to say it. It's a Cowboys-Jaguars Super Bowl. It's time to look at this full season though. We do have a league leader, almost. Tied with Micah Parsons, Aiden Hutchinson had 18 sacks. Jaden Daniels had his best season so far, 3,629 and eight. Now rushing, Jalen Wright 
He hits 1,000 again and seven touchdowns, but five fumbles is atrocious. McLaurin had his best season by far. Boogie Massey, bro. 808 as a rookie? Luke McCaffrey had to sit on the sideline a little bit more than he would have liked. And Ben Sinat, 767 and five. Defensive dude, seeing that sack number is crazy. And Leonard Webster, almost 10 as well. Karamoa and Deron Payne adding some as well. We had three interceptions out of Jartavius Martin, two out of Derek Forrest, one out of Forbes still, and Sandra still. There's a lot of, there's a lot of names there, I'm not gonna lie. Free agency this year is weak. There's nothing that I particularly want in here. I was hoping for maybe a really good halfback since Jalen Wright hasn't been great, but Jalen Wright is literally better than everyone in here. We got a very late pick this year. 26, damn, we were nine and eight. It's pretty much all QBs available, which is crazy. I'm gonna trade this pick away for some future capital. Yeah, Indianapolis, I would love to trade you straight up for your pick, which is right after mine. What are you smoking? Dolphins will, dude, I'm sorry, but this is the best option. I am literally cleaning house of the Miami Dolphins picks right now. A first and second next year. I let the CPU take over for rounds two and beyond. Let's see how it looked. Damn. Zach Johnson, a 75 overall corner. They picked up a halfback. Darren Logan is a 72 with 90 speed. He's okay. Another corner and then a bunch of mediocre guys. Dude, honestly, draft classes are just stronger this year. Stevie Tucker, 84. Tyson Boone, 84. And 83 center. Damn, it was all offensive linemen. Look at that. All right, gentlemen, here's your lineup right now. Jalen Wright's now an 86. Jaden Daniels is an 86. Senate is getting really good. 85. Superstar offensive line looks beautiful, man. We got studs all over on the offensive line. And they're young, too. Massey, Dotson, McCaffrey, and McLaurin. And none of our wide receivers are absolute standouts, but they're all really solid. I do think, at this point, Boogie Massey can be our wide receiver one. I want him getting the most touches. He's 23, 85 overall. He should be a superstar next year if he has the season we expect him to have. Defensively, Hutch gets X-Factor, but Luvu loses his star status. Webster, Payne, Newton, Simmons, Madrano. Damn. I, dude, I love this team. We're at 87 overall. Like, we're we're really close. I think if we can get Jaden Daniels up to superstar, if we can get Massey up to superstar, this is a lineup that could win the Super Bowl. We got to get over this 9-8 and eight hump. We're just hanging out at 9-8. and eight. Dude, deja vu. We are 4-3 and three at midseason. We love being 4-3 and three at midseason. It's our favorite. Although, we've made the playoffs pretty consistently. Can we do it again? Ooh, no. It feels like this is the best we've ever been, but that was the worst season we've ever had. At 89 overall, damn. Let's see what transpired here. We lost to the Panthers. We lost to the Bills. We lost to the Broncos, the Giants, the Dolphins, the Giants twice. The Eagles, the Bears, the Cowboys, the Justin Rams. We lost almost every game in the NFC East. We beat the Cowboys once, the Eagles once, that was it. Ugh, lucky. Not a good season for us. Jaden Daniels had an unspectacular season. Jalen Wright, a thousand. He keeps hitting a thousand, so I'm happy about that. Boogie Massey did have a big season, like we were hoping, 1,100 yards and 11 touchdowns. And defensively, Hutchinson kind of regressed too. I mean, he had 18 and a half last season, only 12. I mean, 12 is still great, but we just generally expect more out of him. And four interceptions for Emmanuel Forbes and one apiece from all of these guys. It's just a, it was just a slump season. It's gonna happen sometimes. The good news is we have a ton of money and salary cap. Hopefully this free agency is loaded. Miami is crazy in this. Another Super Bowl for Miami. Another MVP for Mahomes. Ooh, Creed Humphrey. I mean, we don't need him, but does look kind of cool. I take it back. We do not have the cap space. I re-signed Newton because he's been awesome for us and we have two million cap. I was mistaken when I was looking at our cap. I had to re-sign players first. We're actually broke. So yeah, we need this next season to be a really good one. Luckily, we're gonna have a really high overall and a easy schedule. We should definitely be playoff bound in 2028. And we also get a solid draft pick because we're round one pick 10. As well as we have the Dolphins pick, but since they won the Super Bowl, they're the very last pick. Take a running back in round one, am I crazy? I am. I'm taking Gregory Leach, dude. I'm thinking like really far in the future in case we don't get a Super Bowl with this current lineup. But Jalen Wright's, yeah. And this guy looks like a stud. 
I don't think I've ever taken a running back in round one. So let's see how this pans out. Dude's got the pink. They just got random color generators on these dudes' fits. What are we wearing, my friend? He's a hidden dev power back with 92 speed, 93 excel. This, that was either really stupid or really, really smart. We're gonna find out. I'd like to take a safety with this next pick since Derek Forrest is kind of on his way out. And there is a strong safety. Bobby Medlock. We call this a Hail Mary, boys. I'm just throwing it out there. Medlock, hidden dev. He's not too fast. 87 speed, 91 Excel. It's a hidden dev safety, baby. Beautiful draft for us. I'll let the CPU take care of the rest. All right, we ran into some serious cap problems. I couldn't re-sign everybody. So here's how the team's gonna look starting in 2028. Massey is now a superstar. It's amazing. Gregory Leach is gonna be backing up Jalen Wright, who's an 88. Jaden Daniels is also an 88. I couldn't keep Senate. He wanted big money. Our second option was Bryce Baldwin who the CPU drafted me a while ago. He's very fast for a tight end at 88 speed, but he's a 73 overall. So yeah, that's not too exciting. Defensively, Isaiah Simmons is no longer with us as well, but we have Madrano now in the middle. Linebackers still look good. Derek Forrest, Jartavius Martin. Dom still no longer has superstar, but he's still a 90 overall. My corners are insane. I really could trade Zach Johnson, but I can't actually make trades right now because I'm negative 10 mil in cap space. I'm running into a lot of cap problems, but we have a really good team. We have an ins we have the best edge rusher in the game. We've got an excellent D-line and excellent overall. We just got to put it together. Last season was a big setback. I expected a big playoff push and we just didn't get it. It's going to be another tough season. Three and four at midseason. Oh, hey, Jamin Davis got a weekly award though. Nice job, bud. If we can't make something happen this season, we're going to be in a lot of trouble. We're going to be in cap hell and not good enough. To oh, this is bad. Come on, let's just close it out right now, boys. Ooh, we lost only one single game the rest of the season. Not only that, but the NFC East sucks. We're 12 and five. Oh my goodness. We clinched the division. We dominated the NFC East. Finally a monster season. Aiden Hutchinson, 16 sacks on the season. Let's see what else we can see. Jaden Daniels, honestly, I mean, that's, that's one of his better stat lines, but it's nothing crazy. Jalen Wright had his best season, 1,209. Gregory Leach got to pump in some yards too, 366 and five. He'll be a stud in the future. Massey, 950. Richard, 700. Bryce Baldwin. 705 and 9. Damn. Dotson and Leach punching in a little bit as well. And defensively, 16 for Hutch, 9 for Webster, 5 for Newton. Uh, we were just so much better defensively this year. 4 for Karamoa, 3 for Forbes, 2, 2, 2. Yeah, we were just really good on defense. Well, let's do a little more of that, boys. Looks like the wild card is against the Packers, who knocked us out last time we were in the playoffs. I bet you never seen this score before. It's 17 to 5. We got a safety and a field goal. And I'm stepping in to see if I can do anything special here. Ooh, great block up front. It's going to let Jaden Daniels get through all the way. <laughs> Jaden Daniels. In for the touchdown. Let's go. 12 to 17. I'm in on defense. They need a little bit of help. Let's see if we can do that for them. Because this game, I got to get past the Packers, dude. Good defense. Good defense. He finally clears. Dude, I need that Aiden Hutchinson. I need that Aiden Hutchinson pass rush right there. He had all the time in the world. Second and four here. Let's slide down in case it's a run. It sure is. What a play. Third and four. What's the play? What's the play, Jay Love? Ooh. Can we see that again, please? How on earth did you whiff that hard? I'm depressed. That was so embarrassing. Third inch is big pickup here. Ooh, but Jaden Daniels can't escape this time. Now fourth and four. I feel like we go for this. Yeah, we have to. Head coach Maddie Meigs, you know she wants to go for it in this scenario. Right over the middle. It's not sin it though. Can't make the catch. This game is all but over. Third and five. It's gonna get scary. It's gonna get scary for us, boys. Yo, go down. <sighs> That's ball game. Dude, the Packers are a curse. The Packers are a curse to us right now. It's gonna get scary in this rebuild. Free agency was a myth because we had negative cap space, but I can show you the draft recap. It was uneventful. I was thinking about a potential Jaden Daniels replacement. This guy is a bust. Got a 73 left guard. This dude, it's getting 
it's getting ugly. Bryce Baldwin went up seven overalls in one season though, so we're back to having an awesome tight end. Daniels and Wright are both 90s. That's a pretty beautiful backfield, honestly. It's crazy he's still start ed though, but he looks really good. Defensively though, I mean, we're losing star devs like crazy. We're losing superstars. We still got Hutch being amazing, but other than that, ugh, it's ugly. I think this is our last season where we're gonna be really competitive. So I got to make a move. So we can move Zach Johnson since he's really not getting a lot of reps. Let's also look into moving a first round pick. The Packers, ironically, are interested. We're selling out, boys. Dallas Turner is a 92 overall. We're giving the Vikings Zach Johnson a first and two seconds and one third for Dallas Turner. I feel like offensively, we have firepower. We got a star wide receiver. We've got an 83 Dotson. I don't think offense is holding us back. An expensive trade for Dallas Turner, but damn, does he look good. A superstar? But I think him and Hutch pass rushing together should be a nightmare. Stop! No, I just simmed to the playoffs. Oh my God, get these, get the fucking Packers away from me, dude. Oh my goodness. We have the two sack leaders in the entire league. Hutchinson had 20 and Webster had 17. New ability unlocked, Bryce Baldwin. Dude, what just happened this season? We're 12 and five and look who we're playing again. But look at the sacks we got. Baldwin's an 87. Offensive line looks really clean. Everybody's playing their hearts out right now. Okay, this is a really good looking season. Hutch is a 99. How did they do that? That's crazy. We're 12 and five once again. What are the, dude, how do we have 37 sacks between two dudes? Jaden Daniels, 30 and two. His best season by far. Jalen Wright, his best season by far. 13 touchdowns. Massey, 913. Russ Patton, this dude's like a 69 overall. Pretty good season for him. Baldwin had a really good season too. Defensively, I've never ever seen this before. 20 and a half on a hutch, 17 and a half. Dude, what? Dallas Turner had seven. Dallas Turner really didn't even do that much. Oh my goodness. That's a crazy season. Oh my God. I'm geeked up. Okay, Packers. Let's go, dude. Let's go. I'm ready to beat the Packers finally. I'm so sick of this team. Every Washington Commanders fan on earth is so sick of the Green Bay Packers. This is our curse. They own us, but all that's gonna change today. That's my goal. Can we fly past the Packers finally? Defense needs my help. I'm on Madrano. They're five wide, first and goal. I see a pump fake. He throws, incomplete, nice. Second and goal, maybe a handoff. I see a motion to the right side, back to the left, and it's a left side handoff, and I'm there! What a hit! Coughed up the fumble, but they recovered it instantly. You gotta get a stop again. Gotta get a stop again. Nothing's open! He throws to me! And Coromoa with an INT! I can't believe he tried to throw that. Hey! That was sick. Oh, it's finally time. It's finally time to beat the Packers, dude. First and 10, opening play. Baldwin, he's there. What a ball. Jaden Daniels, you psycho. Oh, on the run dot to Bryce Baldwin. Packers get a touchdown of their own and we're back on O. Jaden Daniels, he's so fast. Downfield blocks, downfield blocks. Let's get out of bounds. Jaden Daniels, I love you, buddy. I love you. All right, first and 10. It's all for nothing if we can't win here. Bryce Baldwin, nobody can guard this dude. Oh, he's almost in the end zone, not quite. We're going crack toss to Jalen Wright. These plays usually aren't that good, but I gotta give it a go anyway. And it looks beautiful right now. Jalen Wright easily into the end zone. Beautiful touchdown for that man. Let's go. Yes! The reign of terror. Suck that shit, Jordan Love. God, it feels good to come out on top. Oh my God, I'm so sick of this curse. Yes. I guess we're just running through the whole NFC North. The Minnesota Vikings are up next. No easy games. It is 20 to 17. We've got a three point lead. It's fourth and 26. And he's gonna fucking check down. Dude, I was just gearing up for like a huge moment and he just checked down. Okay. All right, don't do anything stupid. We could put this game away right here. Jaden Daniels to Jalen Wright. Big TFL, there's the first time out for the Vikings. One first down, this game's over. One first down. Second and 11, there's another handoff. Jalen Wright, jeez, chill out. Third and 12. There's the handoff, Jalen Wright. There's a lot of room. He runs one man over. 
Fourth and four, we're definitely gonna take this field goal. This game is not over. Minnesota has no timeouts though, so that's good. Riley Patterson is always money, and it's still true today. All right, the Vikings need a touchdown. Third and four, clock's ticking. JJ, JJ, check down. Hey, clock's ticking, clock's ticking. Let's go, this ain't college. There's no moving the chains. They're under a minute now. Do another check down. Thank you, tackle him inbounds. Oh, oh, Hawkinson. Oh my God, TJ Hawkinson. 40 seconds left, they're approaching the red zone. I don't like this. I don't like this. Damn, gets it off caught. They're not, they're not spiking. They're just going. Please get home. No, yes. Second and 10, 10 seconds left to send us to the NFC Championship. 10 seconds and 20 yards, huge pass rush. Hutchinson was on him in a heartbeat. Three man rush right now? Three man rush right now? I don't like this at all. It's a good thing we got some, oh, it's a blitz. He's gotta get rid of it. Final play, three seconds left. Minnesota versus the Commanders in the Divisional. JJ McCarthy at 99 overall unloads intercepted he didn't even need to that's all she wrote the commanders oh my god finally yeah jj yeah you don't got blake corman handed off to 80 times a fucking game huh Woo! wow what a final play what a final drive that was nuts who wants to bet all their marbles oh never mind don't bet any marbles the rams are 13 and four. Taking on the Rams here. Rams roster has a 99 Puka, a 97 Brandon Duggan quarterback with freight train? Who the fuck are you? Oh my God. I can't say I'm that scared of this team. Let's see how it goes. And it was all Washington in this game. I was getting ready to maybe pop in or watch, but we're just smoking them. Jaden Daniels, 368 yards and four touchdowns. Up by 17 as we're milking the clock and the Rams Aren't even calling timeouts. Sean McVay is just taking this one. Little handoff to Jalen Wright, a great pull block. That's five yards. And this game is over, fellas. It's over. And this will punch our ticket to the 2029 Super Bowl. Is that what year it is right now? I think so. Maddie Meigs, the first black female head coach to make the Super Bowl. We take down the Rams and we're moving on. Let's go, man. Dude, Jaden Daniels, four touchdowns, 368. What a stat line. And the 2029 Super Bowl will be the Washington Commanders versus the Cincinnati Bengals, who are a 92 overall. 99 Chris Jenkins, 99 Joe Burrow, 99 Jamar Chase, 99 Glenn Reddick, a stud halfback. Oh my goodness. They have Ben. This is where Ben went. Oh, you little shits. This is where Ben Sinnott went. Oh, I can't wait to take this Super Bowl from you, buddy. Bryce Baldwin's gonna make you suck his... I have an active strike against my channel, so I'm gonna settle down for one more month until that strike goes away. And then I'm gonna say everything that I want to say. Ah, fuck it. <laughs> Woo! On our opening drive in the Super Bowl, they're bringing me in to try and punch this forward for one single yard. Jalen Wright, you've got tank, baby! Ah! The air truck! Don't sleep on it! Now first and goal in the Super Bowl. Who's gonna strike first? It looks like it's us, but don't count your chickens until they're gay. Done! Oh! What? <laughs> Massey! Oh, I thought that was a touchdown! It's second and goal now. Jaden Daniels drops back, just do it again. Laser! He's not in! He's so close, but he's not. Wait, what? Oh, he is in! Oh, sh never mind. I, never mind. I didn't, it didn't say touchdown down there. I thought he wasn't in. <laughs> that is a touchdown. Ooh, big time, boys. Big time start. After another touchdown, the Bengals got a field goal looking to get another. Evan McPherson from 55, that's a heater. Drills it. Good field goal. That had four or five yards on. An empty driver, the Commanders. Bengals have the ball, 50 seconds left in the second quarter. It's third and six. Oh, only Jamar Chase makes that catch, man. There were hands in there. Now 25 seconds left. They're 
not using their timeout, burning a ton of clock. That was questionable right there. They gotta go end zone right now, and they do. But he's not in. Timeout Bengals, first and goal with 16 seconds. They've got maybe two shots at the end zone. Otherwise, they gotta settle for their third field goal of this Super Bowl. Do they have someone open? They do, and it's, it's fucking Ben, isn't it? It's fucking Ben Sinnott, isn't it? Oh! That makes me so mad. And he caught it. Dude, he got rocked, too. The good news, though, Bengals have two field goals and a touchdown. We still have a one-point lead. Third and two, they're bringing me in to try to keep this drive alive. And I really like running. Oh, my God. That linebacker ate my guard. Defense gets the stop. We're back on O, though. Nice job, defense. Maybe I don't run the ball, dude. Maybe I get a pass. Going Greg Leach. Greg Leach! Oh! Yo, I gotta see that again. Greg Leach just lifted that man up. Oh my goodness. Second and four in the Super Bowl. Jaden Daniels, quick throw, caught. Yeah, show him Baldwin. Show Ben Sinnott what he's missing. He's missing a ring is what he's missing. Come on, give that to Jalen Wright. Give it to Jalen Wright. Don't overthink it. Just a quick handoff. No. Okay, Baldwin going for two. It was a weird play. Third and eight, big play. Big, big play. We do not want to settle for a field goal here. Take us all the way home. Take us all the way home, Jaden. Check down, Jalen Wright. Not enough. We're gonna have to settle for a field goal. Ooh, I don't like this, 17 to 13. Deja vu, gentlemen. We punted the ball back to the Bengals after a three and out. And it's third and 12. Pass rush, pass rush, pass rush. Get home, Hutch, great move. Oh my goodness, our pass rush is insane. Leonard Webster. If it wasn't gonna be him, it was gonna be Hutch. Fourth and 19, the Bengals have to go for it. The Super Bowl is ours if we get one more stop. Look at that D line, Webster, Hutch. Get home, Hutch, big move, laser. Let's go! Deflected! Oh my god! Dude, this defense is disgusting! And that means we take over on the 12. They have all their timeouts, we have all of ours. You know they're gonna burn them, but if we get in the end zone, it's over. Second and 10, another handoff, Jalen Wright this time. He's got a lot of room! Breaks a tackle, third and one. Baldwin in motion, Jalen Wright stuffed. Oh, the Bengals were all over it. Are we going to take another field goal? Oh, no, I don't like this. I don't know if I like this. A seven-point lead. I mean, obviously, you take the field goal here. I just can't believe we couldn't get that first down. 20 to 13 lead in the Super Bowl. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at your screen. I wasn't on slow. 65-yard touchdown to Jamar Chase. They scored instantly. They kick a PAT. And it's about to be our ball again. Oh my God, that's why I don't like that. We could have ended the game with the first down. First and 20, 20 to 20, there's a flag. Maybe offsides, is that a free play? Penalty is an offsides. That was a free play, we could have gone yard. It was still a really good play though. We now take over from the 40. We need about 30-ish yards to be in field goal range, comfortable field goal range. Laser, over the middle, caught. Timeout, Washington. We're so close, no turnovers. Be oh, play action. Don't you dare get sacked. What are you doing? Fucking heave it. You're out of the pocket. Why are we running play? Third and 11, clutch up, Daniels. You gotta do it now. Let's go. Russ Patton, first and 10. We're not quite there. Quick throw. Yes, Jane Daniels, beautiful caught, Boogie Massey. Second and two. This might be a run. I think we're in field goal range. There's the handoff, Jalen Wright. Jalen Wright, first down. No, third and inches. Take us home, Jalen. Take us over the top of this, Jalen Wright. You got to. Take us home. Oh my God, these guys are monsters. We get the first down anyway, but we might try it out the kicker right now for a 48 yarder. No, one more play. We're gonna try and make it a little bit easier. Just don't fumble. Oh my God, I don't like this clock. I don't like this clock. Time out, please. Time out, please. Time out, please. Thank you. Manny Meeks, golly, I know you're a woman, but call the damn time out. 20 to 20, fourth quarter of the Super Bowl. Although this is not good clock management. They're gonna have two seconds, even if we make this. The biggest field goal in your life, Elam. 
The kick is up! It's butter! It's butter! Elam drills it! Put a ring on it, baby. Oh, the Gatorade? That's sexual harassment. Wet t-shirt contest. Good thing she's got a puffer on, dude. Golly. Jaden Daniels. Super Bowl champions. Maddie Geeks, they give it to Maddie Geeks. The first ever black female head coach to win a Super Bowl. Diversity, equity, and inclusion. And guess what? Ben Sinnott doesn't have shit. And that makes me so happy. Plain Jane rap two tone. Already know what I'm on. Now, before everything is said and done, we need to sim an entire season on autopilot to see if we put this team in good enough hands to win on their own. Or did I completely sell out for a win right now and screw this team over? That's what we're checking. I am utterly shocked at how fast the sim is this year though. Like, it gets me horny. You can sim entire seasons in like eight seconds. Oh, ah. I'm used to having like, you know, a minute to just sit here and breathe. It's very scary. I'm stuck here alone in my room with my thoughts. Honestly, I think I sold out for the win. We go seven and 10 the following season. What does the roster look like right now though? Cause dude, our roster got so much better though. I would have thought we'd have a better season here. Daniel Starr. It's a good roster, but everybody's got a good roster. I am kind of shocked though. Dallas Turner, Webster, and Hutch are still superstars. My safety position is horrendous. Just pitiful. No sack leaders this time either. Yeah, maybe we just had a miracle year, but I will take it. All right, gentlemen, my first ever Madden 25 rebuild was the Washington Commanders. I hope you loved it. Let me know what you want to see next, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.